Hi, my name is Greg and I'm with the Lean Six Sigma office. And today I'm going to walk you through using Google Sheets and the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. Uh, so I'm a, a big fan of Google Sheets uh, for several reasons. One is a price, uh, but another is that it's a great way to share workbooks and make them interactive if you have a cross-functional team maybe working in multiple locations. That said, a downside to Google Sheets is that it doesn't come with all the standard bells and whistles that Microsoft Excel has. Specifically, uh, specifically it does not come with a data analysis tool pack. Uh, but that's where the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack comes in. So I want to walk you through this, but the main reason I wanted to share this is that it can be a little bit tricky when you're using uh, the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. And it can also be rather slow if you're using a large uh, data set of files. Uh, but for this exercise, we've got uh, two sets of grades, one from kids who took uh, a test in the morning and one from another set of students who took the test in the afternoon. And as you can imagine, a few days after the taking the test, those kids that took the test in the morning, uh, after comparing their grades to their, their, uh, their classmates in the afternoon class, they think they may have been at a something of a, they may have been at a disadvantage. They may have, uh, they think that they receive lower grades. So what we have uh, over here is, again, we have the grades from the morning class and the grades from the afternoon. We have 20 kids in each class, and you can see what we have. So I'm going to click on this add-ons and go to the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. Click on Start. and then I'm going to go over and I'm going to start by looking at the descriptive statistics. Very similar to the Microsoft Excel data analysis tool pack, uh, but again, it can be a little bit different. So I'm going to start by selecting the input range, and this is where, where, the, where the tool can be a little bit tricky here. So as you can see, when I click inside the input range, it defaults to wherever my uh, wherever whatever cell I have selected. So in this case, I'm going to click and drag all the way down so that I have all the grades selected. But if you look at the input range here, it's still focused only on cell B1. But if I click inside here, now it reflects the entire range that I selected. So I'm going to select labels in the first row. I'm going to click inside the output range. And again, now it's as soon as I click inside, it's saying the same range. And so if I clicked OK here, the result that it would give me is that it overwrites my original data set. So let me do undo. I'm going to click inside the output range again. Now I'm going to click in an empty cell and click inside the output range again. So now you can see that the input range is B1 to B21 the output range is selected right here to E1. I'm going to remove these two and click OK. This is a very simple exercise here. And so you can see now we've got our descriptive statistics so that we can see the average for the morning was 74.15. The average for the afternoon was 79.75. Uh, you can also see that the median for the morning was 70 and then the afternoon was 78. So they look different. But what we don't know is, are they statistically different? Did the kids in the morning class receive a different uh, grade on average than the kids in the afternoon? Well, again, they look different, but we still can't really tell. So if I scroll down in the Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack, uh, one of the options I have is a t-test for paired sample for two means. I'm going to click that. And again, very similar to the Microsoft Excel Data Analysis Tool Pack, I'm going to click in the, uh, the field for uh, range 1 and click and drag. And again, it's still zeroed in on my last selected cell, which was 8.5. But if I click in here again, now it's got the right range. I'm going to click in for range 2, click and drag, click in the cell again. I'm going to leave the hypothesized mean difference as, as null because for this exercise we're trying to tell, determine, we as, we're assuming that there is no difference. I'm selecting labels for the output range, or labels that uh, the first row contains labels. The output range 
Again, as soon as I select the output range, it defaults to the last uh, area that I have selected. I'm going to click into an empty cell, click into the output range again, and again, double check to make sure that you still have all of your selected cells. Click OK, and let me auto size this so we can see what it looks like. And if we're looking at a, a uh, two tail uh, test, then we see that the p value is above 0 0.05. Even if we're doing a one tail, it's above 0 0.05. So for this exercise, we can say that even though uh, they look different, 74.15 versus 79.75, there is no difference between the kids who took the test in the morning versus the kids who took the test in the afternoon. Uh, once again, my name is Greg. I'm with the Lean Six Sigma office. Thank you for watching, and please uh, like this video and reply if you have any questions or suggestions.